Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to customize your Windows sounds. So you probably know that if you go to Control Panel, and then to Sound, and then the Sounds tab, you could check out what sounds are associated with what event. And then you could change your sounds by browsing to a new one. Or you could change your scheme up here if you have something else, such as no sounds. Or make a custom sound scheme. That's okay, it's a little bit limited. So we're going to be using a free program called Sound Manager. So there's two versions. There's an installable program, and then there's a standalone version, which is what I'm using here. So it's just a zip file. You download it, extract it, then you just run the executable. So right now it's loading the Windows 11 sounds. You can click on each one, play sound. Usually you can just click on it and it'll play it. But if you click on it again without clicking off it, it doesn't. You'll have to right click and play sound. Okay, so there's nothing set for shutdown. So let's say I wanted to add this Windows XP shutdown sound. I could right click on it, replace sound. Pick this one here. So now that's my sound for shutting down the computer. And let's say I wanted to add something to maximize because there's nothing there. I could do the same thing or I could double click it. Let's click on expand. So now when I expand a window, there's my sound for it. All right, and then you have some settings over here uh, for your sound schemes, associate with sound scheme files, uh, patch the built-in startup sound, you know, if you want to start it with Windows to play your missing sounds. And then you have the About tab here. And when you go to the About tab, you could download more sounds, which you could also do by running this executable right here. It does the same thing. So right now I have Windows 11, Windows XP, and then I have an Ubuntu Linux. And you have some holiday sounds. Let's do some Halloween. Click OK. Then we could load the Halloween scheme if we want. So you get the idea of how it works here. So let's see what logging off sounds like. Okay, so let's try and log off and see what happens here. Okay. So you can see the log off didn't work, but the log on sound didn't work. So in that case, Let's click this option here. All right, let's try it again. Okay, so that worked. All right, so that seemed to work better after checking that option there. So obviously adding too many sounds here could get a little bit annoying. So let's go back to the Windows 11 and make sure our shutdown sound is now the XP sound. Okay, so we need to re-add it in this case. All right, so now that we have this option checked here, let's try it again. Okay, so that works, so we'll reboot and be right back. Okay, we got the Windows 11 startup sound there.
Now you can see we got a UAC prompt too now that it's integrated with Windows. So keep that in mind. So when you do change these settings, you're going to get that warning about uh, having to integrate with Windows, get that UAC prompt when you open it, and then also the message that it might break on a major update and reset it. And you'll just have to come back here and do a little bit of reconfiguring. But of course, you could export your sound scheme too if you want. And then you have the My Sounds file. And then all you have to do is come back here and open it. If you want to reset it, let's say you make some other changes and you didn't like it, and then you want to actually revert it, you could just reopen your backup file there from your export and then have things back to the way they were when you made the uh, export. All right, let's just try this Linux sound scheme here real quick. Nothing there. Same as the startup. Nothing there. All right, let's try emptying the recycle bin with the Linux sound scheme. See what happens here. Okay, so that worked as well. All right, so there is your basic overview of Sound Manager. You might want to try the installable version if you plan on really using this a lot because I think the integration into Windows will be a little bit smoother. Um, I'm assuming it has the same options here. I haven't tried that uh, installable version, just the standalone. But you might want to give that one a try if it's something you'll think you'll use on a regular basis. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Sound Manager and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.